All right, what's up, guys? Welcome Friday night, uh, 2019 top series one jumbo three box break number 18. Ooh, that's a lot of words. All right, we got the second half of the case that we started last night. Uh, what was it? All right, the bottom three was actually the top three boxes uh, from the case. They came. You know, I open them up upside down. So bottom is top. All right, we're going to open up six silver packs as well. Hope you're all good tonight. Let me get into that chat. All right. Oh, what's up, RJ? Good luck, man. Good luck to all of you. I have a friend named RJ. Oh, you got a friend named RJ Phoenix. Awesome. Who knew him? Who knew him? The lying. Oh, that's right. All right, guys. Uh, here are these silver packs. So we're going to take another six. Right from the right side here. Going in order. Hopefully another autograph. We had two autos so far in these silver packs. So I think we'll do up for one more pretty soon. Hopefully right now. Yeah, it's about two of the autos, uh, you know, per ten cases worth of silver packs. It's like, uh, was it, like a hundred and six, twelve. Yeah, it's like a hundred and forty silver packs. We usually get about two, three autos. Hey, what's up, Jeremy? You got it, Jer, no problem. Yeah, once this breaks over, I'll take care of that too, Jer. I was trying to rush, but there was so many uh, little curveballs I had to take care of uh, before the break. But, uh, all good now, but I got you. Um, if it's a double order on one card with two different, you know, two different teams, then, uh, We'll go to random.org and it'll be like a contest. Um, you know, we'll randomize. We'll roll a dice. We'll get a number. We'll put your names inside the randomizer and then we'll click it uh, that many times. So if we roll an eight, we'll randomize your names eight times. And whichever name is on top will win it. So yeah, that's happened plenty. All right, one No, we're talking about something that's to the dead mark, I think. Seriously, I need a penguin costume. In this game, that's really cool. Alright, here are your teams, everybody. Uh, we got two more breaks tonight, so... We got one more case to go through. Next break will be a uh, fresh case. Uh, Jeremy says hi, Phoenix. Hello, have fun with that. Hello, have fun with that. <laughs> I never said hi, Yeah, Phoenix is trying to fall asleep Hello. now. Up late on a Friday night, huh? Mm-hmm. Alright, so break 18, break 19 spots are on eBay now for that. And then tomorrow night, um, I have a half case of Hobby I'll be breaking. That's the other format that has the one hit per box. Uh, but it's six boxes, and that's the format that has the short prints in it also. So there should be uh, a couple of short prints in every break too, like the regular SPs. So I'm going to do one break tomorrow night, and then Sunday night I'll do another one. I'll do the other half of that case. I only had one case, so... All right, good luck, guys. Here's the silver packs. There's four chrome cards with that 1984 style. Uh, there's colored refractors. There's autographs. Get a super refractor if we're lucky. All right, Manny Machado. Kyle Schwarber. Shohei Otani. And Big Mac. Phoenix, you got to keep it down, man. Come on. I can't hear myself. Thank you. Oh, what's up, Ruben? Ah, uh, Ruben says hi to Phoenix. 
<laughs> What's up? All right. Chrome number two, my boy Dell Strawberry. Bo Jackson. Corey Kluber. And Cal Ripken. So, yeah, next week I'll be doing uh, more giveaways, lots of giveaways. That'll be the focus next week. Uh, the 20th, there's a bunch of new stuff coming out. And then it should keep snowballing after that. You know, baseball season starts. We're in the middle of, like, a hot basketball season. Uh, the football draft stuff will be coming out soon. There's Donnie Baseball. Javi Baez. Phoenix, keep it down, please. Lindor. And Soto. All right, Mike Trout, Jose Altuve, Steven Matz, and Buster Posey. All right, we got Ricky Henderson, Derek Jeter, good players on these cards. Let's just hope we get an auto or some color. Yelich and Jackie Robinson, that's cool. Very cool. And last silver pack, Bryce Wilson, Jake Bowers, Jim Rice, and Ryan Semberg. All right, so some good players, but no luck with uh, color autos. I'm sure next break you'll see some color pop up. Here we go, guys. And here I'm going to show you. Uh, I got all my magazines, beginning of the season. I get to learn about all the prospects from this year and uh, on all the fantasy stuff. This is a uh, Street and Smiths. This is a good one. I've had 120 pages of in depth team previews. The Cuban player crisis, all sorts of stuff. Uh, 600 prospect bios. I love that stuff, man. I know a lot of the prospects, but I don't know a lot of them, too. And this is cool. Fantasy Baseball Guide, man. They have, like, mock fantasy drafts. They break down every player, man. Everybody. They're all in there. Uh, so, yeah, that was the Fantasy Guide. And then, if like, you guys like reading stuff like this, these are cool. I just saw them at, uh, you know, Walgreens on the magazine, uh, Rec. Athlon Sports, this is really good, man. They had a Yankee cover and a Met cover. So I got uh, four pages of Mets team coverage. Can't wait to read that. I didn't read that yet. Top 50 prospects. Um, you know, you see Vladi in there. Where's Vladi? Boom, top 50 prospects. You got Tatis. So Vladi number one, Tatis number two. In the other magazine, they had a different... Uh, Eloy, so a lot of these guys, man, you're going to see in like Top Series 2 and Tops Update, Wander Franco, Senzel was number 6, can't wait for his rookie card, Joe Adele for the Angels, Royce Lewis, a lot of these guys should be coming up, Vladimir's the big dude though, alright, that's it, let's get into the break, box number 1. Yeah, I can't get enough of, like, magazines. I got, even, like, Beckett. Not just for the, I don't go by the price guide. Sometimes it's cool to check out, like, you know, what they estimate the cards to be worth. But it's, I get it more for, like, the articles and the review on sets and stuff. All right, so 10 packs per box is going to be three hits. One autograph and uh, two memorabilia, or like one relic and one like commemorative. The really cool retro patches or the medallions. All right, some nice rookie cards. Here's Kyle Tucker. Not too many big rookies in Series One, but Kyle Tucker is one of them. Aaron Judge.
Dansby, uh, every picture on a card, he's always got, he's running and his hat's falling off. He plays hard, man. Not like the most, uh, you know, he's very consistent, I think, but he's not like, uh, I don't think he's the fastest, the strongest, uh, you know, he's just very good at it, you know, pretty good at everything. And he was uh, MLB ready pretty quick. I think that's why he got drafted at number one. They knew he'd be ready and he'd be a solid player. All right, Reggie Jackson, greatest moment. So middle of the pack has all the inserts and hits and action. All right, Heath Filmmeyer, Rainbow Foil. That's a rookie for the Royals. All right, the 1984 subset here, Jose Ramirez. He's uh, at the top of the fantasy picks, man. Him and Lindor are both up there. And Kyle Schwarber tops now insert. And more base and inserts. Well, not inserts. Base and uh, league leader cards. What do they call those? Subsets, I believe. Future star cards. A lot of the sophomore players have the future stars. Who had their rookie card last year. Uh, Luis Yuri is very good prospect for the Padres. Kyle Tucker, Rainbow Foil. That's a nice one. Houston Astros. Yeah, and if he starts off the season on a tear, man, uh, these prices, these first rookie cards of his are going to pop up. Especially all the gold and the Rainbow Foils and all the other parallels. Uh, Mike Trott and Ronald Acuna. All right, so we got two players on there. Well, uh, at the end of the break, we'll do uh, a dice roll to see if the left side or right side wins that. If it's like an autograph or something bigger, you know, we could go to the random.org screen, make it a little more official. But it's all the same thing. It's all random. But that's cool. Acuna and Trout on the same card. Tuki Toussaint. All right, home run challenge. Matt Carpenter, St. Louis Cardinals. All right, now this is cool. Choose a game you think your player will hit a home run. If he does, you win a prize. And are entered into the grand prize drawing as well to uh, win a trip to the home run derby. That's cool. Imagine going there. St. Louis, uh, Ert Linza, congrats. DeGrom. Then they have the All-Star Rookie Cups that they've had since uh, way back, way before the 80s, too. wonder what year they started these, the All-Star Rookie Cups. Have they had that from, like, the beginning in the 60s? Yeah, that'd be a cool one. That's probably uh, tough, really tough to get tickets. You know, you'd have to hope it's in a stadium that's kind of close to you. And that I'm sure they sell out really quick. And then StubHub probably charges an arm and a leg just to get in the stadium. I would guess. <laughs> Ronald Acuna. That's a nice uh, All-Star Rookie Cup card. Oh, nice, Ruben. You went to the 76 one. Wow. Who's the star of that All-Star game? It's somebody. Uh, who's the MVP? If you, were, you probably remember if you were there.
Was it my boy Dave Kingman? Maybe Pete Rose. Wow, Pete Rose was playing for a while. I couldn't believe it. Uh, seeing like a 1968 or 66 Pete Rose card and knowing that in 86 I was 86, 87 buying, uh, you know, Topps cards and having Pete Rose cards on there. Player, manager. All right, Suarez. Ranger Suarez with 150 years of baseball stamp on it. Those are just like the rainbows or the golds. You get a bunch of those in this break. Uh, Don Mattingly. Iconic card reprints. He, in 84, that was uh, the big rookie card to get Don Mattingly right here. Just like the 35-year set that we got now. Trevor Hoffman. Ooh, nice. Jake Bowers. Tampa Bay Rays. Legacy of Baseball autograph. Nice rookie auto for the Rays. Uh, Chemical, congrats. Very nice. All right, so Jake Bowers, we'll see how he does this year. Been seeing his Bowman, his Bowman cards for a couple years now. All right, so Ray's got the first order. We hit a really nice um, one of those medallion cards. It was number to ten, and it had an autograph on it. Uh, we hit one of those last night. Who was it? Joey Votto? I think it was Votto. I could be wrong. Was it Votto? Yeah, Joey Votto. Yeah, let me show you. Uh, Yeah, throughout 10 cases, you're going to get some of these really, uh, these are tough to get, but they do pop up. Yeah. Six out of 10 on that one. That was last night. And then, uh, like postseason patch autographs and stuff. A lot of fun stuff. I want to hit a sketch card. Oh, it's milky, isn't it? It's milky, isn't it? It's milky. Ah. Mark the bird, Fidrich. <laughs> ah, so you're nine years old, wow. Nine years old? Ah, that sounds like fun, Jer. Caribbean World Series. Man, they got to keep these cards in the right direction. Another Acuna. I bet you even his sophomore cards are worth more money, like the Rookie Cup cards. Especially like, uh, you know, Black Parallel or the Camouflage. All right, Addison Reed, very good setup guy, very good bullpen arm. He could even be a closer. I don't know if they're using him as closer. 150 year stamp. He was, uh, I loved him as a Met. Every time he came in, you were pretty confident. But then he went to the Red Sox and then to the Twins. Hasn't been doing as good as he did with the Mets. With the Mets, he was on fire, man. 1.17 ERA, 1.97, 2.57. And then it jumped up to the threes and fours the last couple years. Oh, wow. Phil Necro. Greatest moments. That's not the one with the sandpaper, right? Four hitter in Toronto. Made him the 18 300 game winner. Wow. Yeah, who got caught? Was it him or his brother Joe? I think Phil Negro got caught with the sandpaper. Uh, Roberto Alomar. And Zach Granke. Nice card for the D backs. Independence Day parallel. It's got the flag in the background, stars and stripes. 31 out of 76. Commemorating uh, 1776 there. Jeremy, nice card, man. That's very cool.
I know he battled like um he had really bad anxiety, man, which I think is a big reason why uh he could have like a Cy Young year or have like a really bad year. I think it's just his comfort zone and Yeah, I think he, he figured it out for the most part. He was pretty uh up and down in the beginning of his career. But I think adapting in Arizona, you know, might have affected him because he was awesome with the the Dodgers. And that's in a big city with a lot of attention, so... But I guess he felt comfortable there. And the competition, I think, drives him, too. Trying to keep up with Clayton. Alright, pack five. <laughs> no one. You don't like any match. You gotta like somebody. <laughs> Syndergaard, you're not feeling Syndergaard. Mookie Wilson, everybody likes Mookie Wilson. Or Curtis Granderson, man. I know he's not a Met anymore, but how could you hate Curtis Granderson? The Grandy Man. Uh, Adam Adovino, 100, uh, 150 year stamp. We got Pujol's Greatest Seasons. He had a lot of those. At least like, you know, five, six, like, amazing years in a row. Uh, Frank Thomas, The Big Hurt. Uh, Tops Now Angels, uh, that's a pretty sick Tops Now insert. Trap, Pujols, and Otani. Kind of Be cool having that triple auto. <laughs> yeah, Bobby Valentine's awesome. He was my fa uh, I don't know, my favorite. Yeah, he could be my favorite Mets coach. He was the funnest man. And he reminded me of uh, Mel from the Peach Pit on Beverly Hills 90210. But uh, a little more fiery. Yeah, he was a fiery manager. Davey Johnson was awesome though too. Alright, Joey Rickard, 150 years stamp. Ah, uh, Jacob DeGrominator, Greatest Seasons. You know that was last year. Anthony Rizzo, and behind that, very nice. Look at that old school Phillies patch. I love these cards, man. Even though it's a Philly. There's Reese Hoskins, man, with the uh, retro hat logo patch. That is pretty sick. Uh, Andre Chrisma, congrats, very nice card right there. Alright, at least you like Kingman, alright, you like somebody. <laughs> what about Lenny Dykstra, man, he came to the Phillies, a couple of the Mets went to the Phillies. I know Dykstra now, like after being the snitch and trying to take down the whole 86 Mets team, just because his life was going bad, trying to make some money off of that, telling everybody what they did and all the secrets. You know, whatever happens uh, in Vegas stays in Vegas, he didn't go by that. That's awesome, man. I love those old school uh, retro. Very cool. And that's a new one. I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, congrats. Very nice one. All right, Betts and Pujols having a good time. Barack Cloth.
In cards like this, like regular, you know, little, not like uh, the inserts or the auto, double autograph, but a card like that with two different players, there's always more than one of them, so they just get split up into both teams. So you'll both get them. Usually there's, you know, you get one or two of each. Maybe more, depending. <laughs> Dykstra and Mitch Williams. Yeah, the Mariners is cool. I'm feeling that. I don't know if that's my favorite. I got to see them all. I'm feeling that Phillies one, though. That reminds me of uh, my Mike Schmidt Rawlings T-Ball set. Andrew Heaney Gold, Garrett Hampson Rainbow Foil, rookie for the Rockies. All right, the Mike Trout Iconic Card Reprint. Look at that. That big Bowman, uh, what was that? 2011 Bowman Draft Card. Pretty cool. It's too bad that's not a real one. Derek Jeter. Put that back on, man. Well, Turn it off. Come on. Well, I'm working over here. Yeah. Why? Working. Yeah. This is my work. I play with baseball cards. <laughs> Another Juan Soto. Yasiel Puig with the stamp on it. Joe Morgan, Greatest Seasons. That Big Red Machine. By 1976, the Big Red Machine was a roaring dynamo with Morgan. It's fuel. Little Joe enjoyed his biggest season going 320, 27, and 111 with 114 walks, 60 stolen bases also. Wow, that's quite a good year. Very productive. Uh, Senzatella, Rainbow Foil, Altuve, and then every now and then the card, like the last card of the middle will, uh, have like different stats on the back, the advanced stats, and it will be numbered, so that's some kind of variation to look for, so I'll always, uh, peek at the back. Labor, but it's usually a lot of the same players you'll see in the same spot. So when I see Max Scherzer there, or a couple other guys, I know that it's not like the variation. Big rookie for the Mets here, Jeff McNeil. And Michael Kopech, Chicago White Sox. Uh, let's see how he does. Throws the ball very fast, which is always exciting. Watching a pitcher throw the ball like 103. Not sure. I think he was a starting pitcher in the minors, so that's funny. Uh, you know, like where Aradis was awesome, man. When we first started seeing somebody throw the ball like 102, you know, in a game or something. But uh, to watch a starting pitcher do that consistently, that'd be crazy. Uh, 
All right, Ozzy Smith, greatest moments. And Jesse Winker, Rainbow Foil. Uh, Ronald Acuna, 84. And Justin Verlander, Houston Astros, get a jersey card, game use memorabilia. 1984 style. All right, congrats to the Astros. Uh, Oliver's cards, congrats. All right, proven champion right here, man. Justin Verlander. Phoenix, stop talking out loud, buddy. You're rambling. You're tired, that's what it is. All right, another Kyle Tucker. We got a gold Kevin Gausman. These are numbered to 2019. It's like the always numbered to the year. Hank Aaron, Team Uniform Evolution. So that's an old school Milwaukee Braves to Acuna wearing a modern day Braves uniform. Pretty cool. See, like, if you got this card, like, 101 or, like, one of those numbered versions, that'd be pretty cool. Fine. Travis Shaw, 84. Oh, cool, Ricky Jordan, and who else, Andy Ashby, maybe Darren Dalton, or what was it, the 90s you were on that bus, early 90s, early 90s Phillies. Another Kyle Tucker stacking them up. Yeah. Alright, so three more shots. It's some nice hits. Or three more hits out of the next ten packs. Ah, uh, Strowman. Alright, we got Ernie Banks, greatest players. Ryan Barucki, Rainbow Foil for the Blue Jays. All right, Steve Carlton, 84 style. Uh, Mike Trout, top snow insert.
Nemo, upside down Nemo. So hey old Tani, all star rookie cup. Bryant. So Tani's card number two fifty. Bryant is two ten. They always give the good players some nice even numbers like a hundred, one fifty, two hundred to uh, I guess Brian uh two ten is alright. Acuna is card number one. That's always like a big honor. All right, Jordan Hicks, Future Stars. That's a cool picture, man. I know they're just base cards to some people, but uh, look at that World Series highlights. Look at Nunez. Great shot. And Springer, man, playing hard too. All right, Jonathan Loiza, rookie foil for the Yankees. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled Luisiga, but yeah, I think Loiza. Clayton Kershaw, iconic, uh, iconic card reprint. Mike Trout, eighty-four, and Acuna home run challenge. Nice one for the Braves. Uh, Chavez, TG, one, two, three, congrats. Yeah, Cunha is very impressive. I think we just expect so much from him that, uh, I mean, Soto, they're all good, man, Glaber, Soto, but I think Acuna, I don't know, I think he was the best out of all them, man. I mean, take your pick, so many talented rookies. But I think Acuna just tributes uh, in every way for a team. Uh, Carlton with the nasty slider. Yeah, I would have liked to see uh, pictures. Well, I guess now on YouTube you could find any old games and watch them. It's all a matter of time. Come forth till... Yeah, what happened to Oduble? Yeah, he ended up with the 255. Ah, he had some numbers last year. Yeah, that 255 average he's got to crank up a little. It's too good a hitter to have uh, slumps like that. Yeah, I guess he's streaky, man. There's Acuna. It's a nice card. Card number one. Clayton Richard, and we got a rainbow foil, Tyler Skaggs, uh, Ballpark Evolution, so you got Forbes Field, Pittsburgh Pirates uh, Stadium, and then on the other side, you got PNC Park, Modern Day, look how beautiful that is, all the stadiums are beautiful, man, so love watching the Kansas City uh, outfield with the waterfalls. I think they still got that. Carlos Correa. I'm 
Yeah, that's crazy, man. That was a bad year for the Phils, huh? I guess that was, uh, yeah, I guess Mike Schmidt came at some point and saved the day. Change that franchise. Right, what year was Mike Schmidt a rookie in? A little after 72? Was it like 75 or something? Or was he like yeah, it must have been somewhere in the middle of the 70s with, like, George Brett. Uh, no, it's not happening. No, 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 no. Uh, Matt Olson, 150 years of baseball stamp. Greatest player is Hank Aaron. Andrew Benintendi. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, we got Ozzie Smith, uh... It's a 1984 style card with the 150 years of baseball stamp on it. So that's going to be numbered to 150. 81 out of 150 for the Cardinals. Numbered on the bottom left there. Very cool. No, stop. I do not need that more year. No, 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 no. Yeah, Ozzy wasn't bad at all offensively, man. No. Some years he came close to 300. Yeah, he's a lifetime 262 hitter, but plenty of years batting 295, 288, 282, 303 even one year. And he played a lot of games, too. Stolen bases with all that speed. Yeah. I mean, his glove was insane, but uh, I guess his offense was, like, plenty to contribute, man. St. Louis, oh, Ert Linza, congrats, very nice, the Wizard of Oz, no. all right, Harrison Bader, he's got the cup, no. all right, All right, pack five bucks too. All right, Schmidt, seventy-four rookie. And then they probably got good like right away, man. All right, maybe a year or two. Who knows? I'm sure. Yeah, Schmidt with his rookie year. I'm sure they were good in seventy-four. Much better than seventy-two. I'm sure. Alright, Luis Severino, 150 year stamp. Uh, greatest player is Lou Brock. That's a cool picture. It's nice when they put uh, those old pictures in full color. Alright, Jacob DeGrom, 84. That's a cool card for a Mets fan. And Juan Soto, tops now insert. Alright, that's about the halfway point. We still got 15 more packs to go, plenty more action. Just move out some base cards. Uh, yeah, so plenty, there's about 10 more teams left on eBay to bid on um, for the next break. That'll be out of my last case of Jumbo. And then uh, break 20 is the last break tonight. That'll be the second half of that case.
And then um, I have one case of Hobby Tops. That's the one with the, it's got half cases, six boxes, but you get one hit per box. Uh, but they have the short print. So that I'll be breaking tomorrow night. And then I'll do the other half on uh, Sunday night. So yeah, not much going on, but uh, I'm going to enjoy stretching out this 2019 Tops. You know, went through, that'll be 11 cases when we're all done. Alright, second half, here we go. <laughs> All right. Ooh, from a retail pack, nice. Yeah, I think we'll. Yeah, tomorrow night. Uh, not tomorrow night. Yeah, tomorrow night we'll see it. Tomorrow Saturday. Yeah, they left them out of jumbo this year. And I'm sure, yeah, that's a good hit in retail. I'm sure they're really tough to hit in retail. The odds are probably insane. All right, 150-year stamp, Derek Rodriguez. Greatest players, Albert Pujols. Ooh, something coming up. All right, behind Will Clark, we got... All right, Chris Bryant, 150-year medallion. And that's going to be low numbered. It's got the red uh, red parallel. Very nice. 23 out of 25, Chris Bryant. 150th anniversary commemorative medallion card. I'm sure this comes in an autograph version as well. But uh, Bryant to 25 on that is real nice. Uh, US 2015, congrats. Yeah, Cubs uh, seem to be doing really good in this product. Beautiful. Alright, Luis Urias. All right, Justin Upton, 150 year stamp. How did he do uh, last year? All right, 30 homers, 85 RBIs. Yeah, he does his thing. 257 average. Yeah, he could raise that a little more. But yeah, he's pretty underrated, man. He's uh, year in and year out, just under the radar, does his thing. Our uh, greatest players, Tom Seaver, one of my legends right here. All right, Don Mattingly. Eighty-four style. So you got the uh, iconic rookie reprint one that uh, the iconic card reprint with the the actual eighty-four card, like different picture. This is the thirty-fifth anniversary. So you got both of them. And behind that, Mike fulton uh for the Braves. That's a nice one. It's got the 150-year stamp on it. On-card auto, numbered to 150. 
All right, congrats to the Braves getting that Acuna home run challenge. No, nice autograph here. Chavez TG, congrats. Mike Fultonewicz. Oh, uh, what's up, Kelly boy? I uh, just started tonight, but got some nice ones. Um, Chris Bryant, that's number to 25 with the red parallel on that. Pretty nice there. And then uh, this I really liked. The Reese Hoskins throwback patch. Uh, but nothing like insane. None of those like auto patches or anything yet. Hoping to see one soon. Glaber Torres. Yeah, last few cases have been really hot, though. We've been pulling those really tough hits to get. Uh, check that. This we hit last night. This is um numbered 6 out of 10. It was the Joey Votto autograph version of the medallion. So stuff like that's always nice to hit. I'm sure, uh, yeah, tonight. Two more breaks. So I'll go through one more case. So hopefully we get to see a couple more uh, sick hits like that. And then we hit like a George Springer uh, really nice patch autograph the other night, number to 25. I really want to see a sketch card. I love those. Uh, Michael Kopech. Trout. Soto. Yeah, Tops is uh, unlike no other set, you know. A lot of the other sets are just looking for the big money cards, and but this is uh, all about that base, and then uh, you know, like the hits you do get, you know, if you're into uh, the medallions and those commemorative patches, you know, you gotta like that stuff. I mean, just seeing a uh, different team every break, different uh, retro patch that uh, I love seeing that. All right, Todd Frazier, Todd Father, 150-year uh, stamp. Greatest players, Ichiro. Uh, Jan Gomes, Rainbow Foil. All right, D. Gordon, 1984. And I'm not sure why the super short prints, they stuck to like just legends. I think it's a... Uh, 25 different players like Jackie Robinson and uh, you know, just all legends. I'm sure, Cal Ripken, Nolan Ryan. I don't know why they left out like you know, Trout and Brian and them because those were always fun to chase on the super short prints. If you remember 2016 uh, series one, if you hit like a Mike Trout SSP, that was worth like a few hundred bucks. But it's cool that they got the legends. I don't know, I just think they should uh. Should have kept the other play, the modern players on there too. Yeah, their short print game. Uh, I guess sometimes the regular SPs was a little overkill. You had too many of them, so it made them not as valuable. So uh, at least they're tougher to get, and you know the values there. Jeff McNeil. But I don't know, I'm sure everybody has their own things they want to change, and, you know, I'm sure the guys at Tops do a great job. There's so many decisions to make and trying to make everybody happy. All in all, I definitely like uh, what they did this year. Robbie Ray, Rainbow Foil. 
All right, remember that card? That was like a $20 rookie card back then. Every time I pulled one of those out of a pack, that was awesome. Correa and Bryant. Just hitting retail packs at uh, Target. Hitting these, you get lucky. You hit one of these on a blaster, it pays for the blaster. But that is a reprint. That was a 2015, what was it, Top Series 2? Top, so was that Series 1? All right, Nick Williams, and behind that for the Dodgers. All right, nice gold, 7 out of 50, Corey Seager. Game used jersey, very nice. Oliver's cards, congrats. Seager's going to be a fun player to watch for the next, like, 10 years. Very, very talented, very gifted. And for a shortstop, having uh, that kind of power too, man. Very agile. Right, six foot four, two hundred and twenty pounds, and plays shortstop, and plays it uh way above average. All right, very nice. So break 17 was the first half of this case. So let me see. Uh, last night, this is what the autos were. Peralta, O'Hearn, and Two-Way Lynn. And then this was nice, that uh, Correa to 150, that retro patch. That's really cool. And the Mariners one. I think that was yours, Ruben. Right, you had Seattle? Maybe. I think you did. And the Soto, Glaber Torres... And we hit that out of the silver. So there was nothing crazy in the first half. Yeah, this half is uh, definitely better so far. And I think uh, last box, hopefully we get uh, one of those crazy things. Oh, wait, that was 17 or 16. Oh, no, duh, I just showed you 16. Oh, break 17. What am I doing? Okay. Yeah, that was the hit. So, yeah, let's see. Hopefully, your last box, something sick. But uh, definitely some nice numbered hits. And that Chris Bryan and the Corey Seeger. All right. Anyway, last pack of box, too. Yeah, I just confused myself for no reason. <laughs> John Gray Gold, Joe Torrey Revolution of the Game, Ah, oh, the Burner, Turner, yeah, he's a great player, man.
Let's see. Yeah, 19 homers, 73 RBIs, 43 stolen bases. Uh, yeah, he throws six triples. 271 average ain't bad either. 70 walks ain't too bad. So he gets on base and uses a, uses that speed. Yeah, he was uh, one of the top fantasy picks in those mock drafts, man, because he, uh, I guess speed, a lot of speed with some power is always a good mix. Yeah, the triples and stolen bases, you know, that'll give you a lot of fantasy points. Alright guys, last box of the break. Still a few teams left on eBay for the next break. That'll be a fresh case. All right, Yanni Molina, Rainbow Foil. Ooh, there's that iconic Derek Jeter card right there. All right, reprint. Very cool, though. Yanni Molina and Chris Bryan Home Run Challenge. He's got some power. Nice one for the Cubs. Uh, US 2015. K Bizzle. You got a great shot at hitting uh, the prize on this card. When I saw him play at uh, City Field for the first time, he crushed a monster home run um, over the left field wall into like the second deck, man. One of the biggest home runs I've seen at uh, City Field. He's got a lot of power, man. Yeah, most of the home runs you see, they like, you can barely tell they're going to go over the fence, you know, when you're watching it live, and they creep over and it's a home run, but a uh, couple players, man, every time they make contact, that ball just gets crushed. Jay Bruce is another one, man, that uh, he was just a hacker. Love watching the Jay Bruce home runs. Alright, Ty Cobb, greatest moments. Alright, Luis Urias, Rainbow Foil, nice one for the Padres. We hit the Kyle Tucker earlier as well. A couple of the big rookies. Aaron Judge. And Glaber Torres Tops Now insert. So they just write about a popular Tops Now card that came out. All right, another Luis Urias. Let's see, yeah, Seager only played in 26 games last year. So hopefully he comes back healthy, man. Even if the even if these players aren't, aren't on your team, it's just so much better for baseball when these special players are healthy and put in a full season.
Yeah, I hate hearing a big player go down. You know, like Correa or Bryant or Trout or Harper. One of those guys goes down. It's always bad news. All right, one of our exciting stars of the game. All right, Brad Keller, 150 year stamp for the Royals, rookie. Duke Snyder, greatest players. Uh, Jonathan Loiza, Yankees 84. And Chicago Cubs, Mark Grace autograph. Very nice for the Cubs. 150 year stamp, so that's number to 150, Legacy of Baseball. So nice old school autograph. 73 out of 150. Very good player for the Cubbies. Uh, US 2015 having a nice break. 73 out of 150. So a Cubs legend right here. Playing with uh, Ryan Sandberg and Andre Dawson. Awesome card. You know, when the Cubs fans come to town, you know, it's City Field or it's Shea back in the day. Uh, you know, I see a lot of them with the Grace jerseys. Most of them have the Ryan Sandbergs and the Bryants and the new guys, but Grace is always there too. Acuna, card number one. There's Wrigley Field. Kind of see the ivy. There's Pittsburgh Stadium. PNC Park. All right, Fran Mill Reyes for the Padres. Nice 150 year stamp, Future Stars. Oh, wow, pretty good rookie season. 87 games, so played like half the season. Batted 280. What, he had 16 homers and 31 RBIs. Not bad on the 16 homers. He's got some pop. Mike Piazza, greatest moments. Yeah, that was right after 9-11, man. That was a great moment for the, uh, you know, just for baseball, but for, like, the whole country. It was great. Everybody was scared to gather together, uh, you know, in big areas at the time, and they just went out and played and put on a great game, man. Uh, Juan Soto. And check that out. Couldn't wait to get to that card. Jacob DeGrom, that's a black parallel. That's the league leader's card. Where it shows his 1.7 ERA on it. 4 out of 67. Nice hit for the Mets. Or nice card for the Mets. Not a hit. Parallel. Yeah, look at the ERA leaders, man. Nola, DeGrom, Scherzer. And then everybody else. A lot of the new guys uh, stepping up. Yeah, all new guys until you get to Granky, right? Miles Mikolas, Kyle Freeland, Fulton Awich, Trevor Williams, Patrick Corbin, Jameson Tyon, Zach Granky. Wow, so a couple of Pirates, a couple of D-backs. Nice card. Congrats, Mets. Uh, Buddha. That's a popular card now. Cy Young winner. All right, we got our auto and our home run challenge, I believe. But we still got the relics to go. 
Will it be a medallion or uh, the retro patch? I want to see the retro patch. See another team. Our right, next break starts uh, in a little over half an hour. Still a couple teams left on eBay, and I'll send out invoices right after this break. Uh, Jeff McNeil. All right, Alex Gordon. 150-year patch. Uh, stamp. Lou Gehrig, Greatest Seasons. Wonder which one they're talking about there. Babe Ruth and 60 home runs are the knee jerk associations to the 1927 season. But it was Lou who batted clean up for the Yankees and won the other two thirds of the team triple crown with a 373 average and 173 RBIs. Wow. His 117 extra base hits are second most in history. Now imagine that man, 373 average, 173 RBIs. And Babe Ruth got all the attention with the 60 homers. What a team, huh? Alright, Mookie Betts, 84. There's your MVP. Old Tiny Tops now insert. Blake Snell. There's your AL Cy Young winner. 1.89 ERA. 21 and 5. Wow, he led in wins and ERA. That's crazy. That's nice. DeGrom didn't get so lucky with the run support. What the Snell is going on over here? Kershaw. Wow, look how many times he led, led the league in categories. All those red, uh, the red numbers. That's crazy. ERA, wow, four years in a row he was leading uh, the league in ERA. And his whip and his war is outstanding. All right, five packs left. Good luck. Yeah, my man, man, uh, my boy Mookie is Mookie Wilson. He was awesome. My main man, Mookie. All right, we got Anthony Rendon, 150-year stamp. Hank Allen, Greatest Seasons. Carlos Santana. And Francisco Lindor, 150-year medallion for the Indians. Great player, man. He had a kind of a, a big shadow over him with uh, Correa and Bryant in that rookie class. But he was able to uh, make quite a name for himself. Maybe time for him to win, uh, you know, some kind of MVP, maybe World Series MVP one day. Indians come close a lot. That'll be a great story, right? Because you have the Astros win, the Cubs winning, the Astros winning. Let's get Lindor on that board. Actually, did the ah Indians came so close, man? Like a couple times. All right, uh, McCarthy 99, congrats. 
<laughs> what in Sam Snell is going on here? Yeah, it's funny when there's uh, the Nick Schnell, like the prospect cards, because the Rays drafted a guy named Nick Schnell. And then you'll have the big Snell, Blake Snell cards. It's very confusing. What the Snell is going on. Boom. Check it out. Adam Baum from 1985 and Adam Baum from the United Kingdom in 85. Adam Baum pin. I took out all the Adam Bombs yesterday. Didn't do much. Nothing like Zoltar. Alright, Brandon Lowe, gold. It's got a lot of gold on it. I like that. See, it's on the border, but they also got a bunch, uh, bunch in the middle there, too. Ah, uh, Corey Seager, rainbow foil. Alright, Tom Seaver and Jacob DeGrom for the Mets. Top's Greatness returns. Trevor Bauer, 84. All right, three more packs. Yeah, no, this year, uh, RJ, they don't have a lot of color. I mean, you hit that to ground, which is nice, but, uh, yeah, every break, there's only, like, two, you know, you might get, like, a black one and an Independence Day. There's only, like, two, maybe, per break. Um, I mean, there's plenty of gold and rainbow foil in those stamps, but, uh, they made the parallels pretty tough. Which I think is better than like overloading it with stuff and making them like easy to get and killing the value of them, but But yeah, there's uh yeah, it's really tough to get some of these hits, man. But every uh case you'll see a couple of black ones. Um, you know, the Independence Day with the uh like American flag, the one to seventy six you'll see. Right, the camouflage number to 25, those are really tough to hit. And obviously the platinum 101s are like impossible. Uh, but yeah, we've hit some pink ones, some blue ones. But pretty tough to get this year. Uh, Martin Perez, Martin Perez with the stamp. Eno Slaughter, greatest moments. Cardinals legend right there. Jonathan Scope. Uh, Rainbow Foil, Chance Adams, 84. Alright. Alright, I definitely got to hurry up now. I've been taking my time examining some cards. <laughs> yeah, where is Zoltar? I think, yeah, Zoltar's around here somewhere. He's got to be back there somewhere. I think he fell back, maybe. Ah, uh, Kopech. Zoltar's hiding, but uh, he's watching us. All 
All right, we got Teoscar Hernandez Rainbow Foil uh, Iconic Card Reprint Rod Carew. Very nice. 1968 top style right there. Is that what they're doing this year with Heritage, or was that last year? No, I think we did it. So what are they doing, 69? Yeah, I think 69 they're doing this year. Pretty cool, though. All right, Luis Urias, 84 style. All right, for the Angels, you got an Albert Pujols game used bat. Pretty cool. You got a little color on the wood there, a little black or something. Maybe that's some of the pine tar, right? That's pretty cool. You got some pine tar on there. Congrats to the Angels. Uh, Walleye Wacker 24. Alright guys, last pack, good luck. And then in a half hour we'll be ripping our fresh case. Alright, nice Kyle Tucker in that last pack. You want to stack these up. Another reminder tomorrow night, um, when you see it on eBay, it's going to be the hobby version. It's um, a six box half case break. I changed the picture, so you'll see a different picture, but uh, in the description we'll say, you know, six box half case hobby. You won't see the jumbo. But just so nobody's confused, uh, thinking they're bidding on jumbo. Because I had 10 cases of jumbo that will finish uh, by tonight. And then I ordered the one case of hobby that I've been holding on to for the end. Jed Jerko Gold. And there are longer breaks, more cards. Um, let's figure I'll do one tomorrow, one Sunday night. Uh, vintage cleats, equipment evolution. Let's see the new cleats. Oh, look at that. That looks like Bryce Harper cleats, right? So we'll give that away to somebody at the end of the break, uh, which is coming up now. Ozzy Smith, 84 style, very cool. It was a nice uh, Ozzy, a number to 150 version of that earlier. You'll see in the recap. Snow. Alright, that is it guys, uh, let's give away these cleats, but first um, we have this Mike Trout Ronald Acuna card, alright, not numbered or anything, but uh, still a very cool card, I'm sure it's worth a couple of bucks, uh, we'll roll a dice, if it's odd it'll go to the Angels on the left side, and if it's even it'll go to Acuna and the Braves on the right side. All right, so Acuna versus Trout right now. Let's see who gets it. And we got a four, so Acuna beats out Trout. That goes to the Braves. There you go, Chavez. That's yours. Get to read a little bit about them. Pretty cool. And we will give away the cleats. All right, I got my funky 10-sided dice that will... Uh, this dice can roll any number from uh, 0 to 99. Like, here's a... Uh, this doesn't count. I'll just show you how it works. 
All right, so that's a double zero and an eight. So that would be eight. You know, that's how you get the single digits. Um, here, let's get up. Now, this would be 97. So you got the 10 spot and the 1 spot. So let's roll it on. There's 30 Major League Baseball teams. So uh, every team has a number. It's in alphabetical order. So Arizona would be Team 1. Uh, the Nationals, Washington, would be Team 30. Um, so we'll, And then you got the mystery spot. That will be uh, Spot 31. So let's find a number and then we'll find it on the sheet. And then they'll win the, uh, the Equipment Evolution card. Vintage cleats. Modern cleats. Alright, let's get a number and we'll go to the sheet and find the... Uh, it's in alphabetical order, so we'll find the team. Alright, 50 is too high, so we got to re-roll. It's got to be under 31. 31 or under. 92, no good. 40, no good. 50, no good. Alright, we got 13, 10 and a 3. Alright, so team 13. Alright, so Arizona's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Detroit's always 10, that I know. 11, 12, 13. Angels win that card. Will I Whacker, that is your cleats. I usually number the sheep, but uh, we don't need to do that, you know. You know, waste a minute on me writing the numbers. All right, now let's do a recap. All right, this is break 18 recap. And then I'll see you guys in like 20 minutes uh, with the next break. And I'm going to send out invoices now. If you're in the next break, uh, invoices are coming right now. All right, guys. Um... We got some nice rainbow foils. We got a Kyle Tucker. That's like the big rookie. The biggest rookie in the set, I think, right now. So Kyle Tucker, rainbow foil rookie for the Astros. And Urias, he could be the second best rookie in this set. At this moment. Uh, so rainbow foil for the Padres. A lot of other ones. We won't go through them all. I just, um, you know, the bigger ones I'll show in the recap. Okay, what else? We got, uh, this is really cool. The 1984 style with the 150 years of baseball stamp on it. So those are numbered to 150. 81 out of 150. Ozzie Smith for the Cardinals. Alright, we got the Independence Day parallel. Where you got the flag in the background. Red, white, and I don't see any blue on this one, but. It's got red and white. Uh, number to 76, Zach Greinke, Arizona D-backs. And this one's really cool. We got a black Jacob DeGrom League Leaders card for the New York Mets. That's numbered to 67, 4 out of 67. This is cool, Mark, and is a 1.70 ERA on it. So congrats to the Mets. Very nice black parallel. Okay, um, now we got the home run challenge cards, first up, Ronald Acuna for the Braves, we got Chris Bryant for the Cubs, and Matt Carpenter for the Cardinals. All right, uh, 150 year medallions, uh, Francisco Lindor for the Indians. And we got uh, the other one I'll show in a little bit. It's numbered. All right. We also got a retro 
Retro hat logo patch for the Phillies. Look at that old school vintage uh, Phillies logo on there. Reese Hoskins. Nice card for the Phillies. Uh, we got a Justin Verlander jersey card. Houston Astros. All right, we got an Albert Pujols. Looks like there's some uh, pine tar on that bat piece. Going out to the Angels. So, bat relic, Major League Materials. Uh, 7 out of 50, Corey Seager. Uh, gold border jersey card. Very nice for the Dodgers. Uh, this was pretty sick. Chris Bryant, red parallel uh, medallion card. That is number to 25. Uh, 23 out of 25. Is that Bryant's number? I forgot what his, his number could be 23. I'm not sure. Congrats to the Cubs on nice card. And, uh, three autographs. Alright, Topps Legacy of Baseball. Jake Bowers, rookie auto for the Tampa Bay Rays. And then we got a Mike fulton on-card auto, uh, Atlanta Braves. That's a 1984 style. And it's number to 150. It's got the 150-year stamp on it. Congrats to the Braves. And the Chicago Cubs, Legacy of Baseball auto, 150-year stamp. So it's number to 150. Mark Grace, legend for the Cubs. Very nice hit. 73 out of 150. And then a lot of other stuff. Yeah, tops. Uh, all the cards ship. You'll get every single card we just saw. There's a lot of gold, rainbow foil, those 150-year uh, stamp cards, all sorts of inserts, rookie cards. You got the, you know, the chrome cards from the silver pack. So a lot of stuff coming your way. All right. Thank you, guys. Oh, he's 17. Thank you, Jeremy. Yeah, I, know, I didn't think it was 23, but for some reason, for a second, I thought it could be. Thank you. All right, guys, I'll be back uh, in like 20 minutes. Adios. Thank you all very much.